I do have a daughter with a pre-existing health condition. And I worry about her and if certain communities are not vaccinating, certain families are not vaccinating. I'm, I'm just sorry, I'm getting a little emotional because I worry about my daughter. And she doesn't have the choice. She's two. A sign of the times, parents probing a leading medical epidemiologist on Saipan working with the World Health Organization in the NMI's first surge. 10,000 students on Rota, Tinian and Saipan return to campus next Monday. It's important for your child to get an education. Uh, and this is why I always have one of the key protection measures is masking within the classrooms and social distancing. And that does it. And I have seen it do it in multiple studies. Dr. Khan is confident that with increased vaccinations, a return to campus is safe. So we know schools are not main drivers of community transmission in CMI. Uh, and there's been a nice study now of over 191 countries where they've looked at opening schools and what that means for community transmission. And schools are or school opening is not associated with community uh, transmission. He says vaccination of students should not be a prerequisite for schools to reopen. Most schools in the NMI are above 70 percent vaccination. A new measure that's also available on CDC guidelines is to test kids in school, uh, including the ability to use testing so that kids don't need to quarantine. So again, there's lots of layers of protection for kids to go back to school in person and do it very safely. It's a reassuring message that's a far cry from the episodic closures that plagued the past year. Tomas Manglonia for KOM News.